what is a DC sweep? So let's look at the answer by uh, looking at the analysis of this simple circuit. Okay, so let's say in this circuit, I want to measure the current going through the R2. Let's say from top to bottom. Okay, and I want to see how the current through R2 changes when I say when I change V1. Okay, so right now V1 is 12 volts. And if I simulate this, I see the current going through R2 is 0.923 milliamps. Okay, so let's say now I want to say, okay, what happens when I change it to 10 volts? I simulate again. So it decreased a little bit from 0.923 to 0.769 milliamps. Okay, so if I reduce this further, let's say 5 volts, and then simulate this now, it reduced further. And now the current is 0.385 milliamps. Okay, so when I do this, one thing I can't say is as I'm reducing V1, the current through R2 is going down, right? But if I do uh, experiments like this, I I can I can say okay, there's a general trend of current decreasing with decreasing voltage, which makes sense. But I don't know exactly what the pattern is. Okay, is it a is it decreasing directly proportional to V1? Is it decreasing some you know using some other weird curve, right? So I want to look at exact pattern. So one way to do that is okay, I can make a huge table with several different vol values of uh, V1 and several different values of current, and then plot a graph uh, through it, right? I can either do that. Uh, so, so that's probably the most straightforward way to do it. But multisim makes it easy for us to do that right so in the in the in the sense that it does that automatically for us and that automatic generation of continuous change of voltages and looking at some output with that change is called a dc sweep that means we are sweeping a dc voltage through a range right so instead of us making a huge table and drawing a graph multisim does it for us so if you want multisim to do that for you you have to simulate this simulate uh, do the simulation in a dc sweep mode right now the simulation is interactive mode that means you can interact with the circuit while the simulation is going on put probes different different places and change things like that but if i want to if they want multi-sim to do a sweep for me i have to change the mode in which i'm doing a simulation and i have to go into C dc sweep okay so again let me the way you get that is you know if you see the uh, this button which shows the mode in which the simulation is happening you click that and you go to the mode you want and these are all the several different modes you can use actually you can do simulations in okay and we will use a few of them not all definitely not all of them in this course another way to get there is hit on simulate and do analysis and simulation and then now once you go to dc sweep okay let's look at what's going on here so you have a source, right? Source is basically what is it you want to change, uh, your independent variable, right? And that is V1. I want to change V1 and see what happens to the current. So my source is V1 and my output is the current through R2. So source is V1. Let's say I want to change V1 from zero to 12 volts and I want to increment it at 0.01. Okay, so note that if I'm incrementing at 0 0.01 and going from 0 to 12, that means, you know, I will have a total of 1200 points, right? If I make a table with 200, 1200 uh, values, I will take whole day to do that, but Multisim will do it for me within a second. So, okay, so that's what I, I have here. And then in the output, I want the current through R2, right? So that means the, the current which probe PR1 is measuring. So I have current through PR1, let's see, PR1. Uh, okay, it's already selected here, so it's I. I usually is reserved for current and PR1. So I'm measuring the current through the probe one and I hit run and it generates a plot for me, right? And I usually like the white background, so I will switch to white background. So as you can see in the X axis, I have the voltage V1. And in the y-axis, I have the current going through R2. And as you can see here, this curve is labeled here, current I through R2, or current I through probe one. 
and I have a uh, so now when I look at this plot, I can say, okay, not only that the current through R2 increases with the, as I'm increasing voltage, it increases linearly, right? And I see, can see it's also going through zero. So that means uh, when the input voltage is zero, my out, uh, current is zero, which also makes sense. And then as I keep increasing the voltage, the current increases linearly, right? Uh, and at any point, if I want to, you know, let's say at, if if my x point value is if my input voltage is 6.5 what would be the current so i can go to cursors right so i have two cursors here which i can use let's say right click set x value maybe 6.5 let's go there and then it sets there and then when x1 is 6.5 this is probe one x1 is 6.5 y1 is 500 micro that means 0.5 right so when voltage is uh, 6.5 volts my uh, current is 0.5 milliamps okay and and if i want to measure the slopes then i can also then you know show cursor put them in two different points since this is a straight line you know rise over run at any two different points is the same and so my rise over run or the slope is 0 0.76 uh, 0 0.076 milli okay so and then that's, that's basically the slope here uh, which is relating the current to the the voltage okay uh, so that's basically what a dc sweep does